Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with another Marvel Snap video. It's been a while, but I recently did a video with D-Free, and I promised I would do more. It's not a game that I stopped playing. I actually play way more than this game that I probably should. Uh, I just stopped making videos on it because I got really busy, and I started focusing a little bit more on Fago stuff and doing some other things, and kind of got left by on the side, but I absolutely love this game, so I'm ready to come back and do a video as I promised to D-Free, and I'll probably, you know, if there's enough support, I'll definitely come back and doing it, but to be honest, when has support for something ever actually stopped me from releasing things? <laughs> so as long as I have an interesting deck to show or play with, I will make more Marvel Snap videos, but today... Uh, this is what I'm going to be playing with because I've been climbing with it pretty consistently. I climbed to infinite with this deck last uh, season, and that was before they buffed Tribunal. I had to actually stop playing the deck after they buffed Tribunal for a bit because a lot of people were st it, st it lost its surprise. So this is what I call Tribunal Sweep. It used to be called Trash, and then it went to infinite, and I couldn't call it Trash anymore. But it's a tribunal deck. It's different from the other tribunal decks. You see a lot of other tribunal decks are a split um, between whether or not... Um, actually, I should take out Wave. Uh, remove from deck. Uh, there's a reason for that. So I'm going to be putting in the card that is typically in other ones. The reason I'm taking her out is that I actually don't use her all that much. She's good if you're going for a... Um, actually, she does see kind of a use. But you know what? I'm going to try him. He, she does kind of stop negative decks, which I like, um, but she only really stops it for a single turn. Um, where, where are you, my guy? I know you're in here somewhere. Iron Lead. Okay, yeah, so this is the deck. Uh, the very basicness of it is that you want to Modoc into Hella, and you have as a backup plan Iron Man Giganto Tribunal. <laughs> To try and win the game that way but really your main focus here is to hella into modok it's to invisible woman um and that's how you basically win and here's the cards that you want to discard morbius is in here as a good discard card invisible woman hides your combo uh with a lot of the metagame kind of being shifted towards the new spider-man deck the lesion move or silky smooth whatever you want to call it uh, this is actually a very dangerous card to play and you have to be a little bit smart. You just can't play it on turn two Magic very key, but unfortunately like I said lesion very high in the meta if someone's snapping at you Or it looks like they're playing the spidey deck and it's a good chance They're gonna lesion or storm your lane. You kind of just have to leave and dip uh, Jubilee she can get out uh, one of your big cards if snap if uh, She can get out one of your big cards mainly Modoc or Hella Crystal, she's here to help the draw. You get to draw a card, and I love this Ryan Gonzalez variant, so that's why I use her. Iron Lad, he can copy one of your good cards. In this case, you would want him to copy Iron Man or Mordok and Hela if you don't draw him. Tribunal would also be good, and you don't want him to copy Infinite, Giganto, Crystal, Jubilee, maybe Magic, and maybe Invisible Woman in some scenarios, and Morbius would actually be pretty good. So he has more hits than misses. Uh, you could also use Wave in here. I feel like wave is perfectly fine at disrupting your opponent so it works out fine but a lot of the time is i end up just never using her um iron man he's good uh modok kind of key to discard your entire hand and he buffs up morbius hella is here for the follow-up play living tribunal he really helps make the deck more consistent because the biggest issue with hella is that after you discard your entire hand the power goes anywhere but with tribunal it makes it so it goes across the board and it's shared giganto he's a big body you could also use magneto to be honest or onslaught but i prefer giganto and infinite because he's a big body and you very rarely ever get to actually play giganto but there has been some weird instances where i actually got to play giganto and win the game by playing it so that's what I'm going to be playing, so let's go right into it. Hopefully, I'm in my 90s now, so maybe I'll run into a little bit less bots, but let's see how it goes. Like, I expect this to be nothing but Spider-Mans at the top ladder trying to grind out of infinite. So let's see how it goes. We're going to go against Name Beer. Okay, starting hand, Magic, Modoc, Giganto. <laughs> Discard Magic. Not great, but honestly not the worst. I would much rather her be discarded than Modoc. It'd be very bad if I lost Modoc. I'd almost completely lose my one way of winning. The Vault, that's pretty bad. Uh, Infinite. Okay. Interesting, interesting place. See, this is where Wave would actually be kind of useful if you didn't, if you wanted to go Wave. Uh, turn three, Giganto on four. 
and then just kind of hide the fact that you have Gigante. Ooh. Oh, I think I just lose here. Uh, legitimately, I think it's over. Unless he gets rid of Dream Dimension, it's over. Let's see if he gets rid of it. He ain't getting rid of it. That's a cube loss. Well, let's see. Ah, we had the hand. I have to retreat. Dream Dimension just instantly kills any deck that has a turn 5 strategy, so there's no point in me even trying. Next game, and that's kind of a lot of what this deck is. Sometimes is that you have to know when to run away and do the right thing. Hey, and I got a mission because I was able to win a lane with 10 or more power. Let's go. 10 or less power. Alright, next game. Let's see if this one goes a little bit better. Rickety Bridge. No, funny. No, I couldn't even win with... Oh, this is going to be kind of a pain in the butt. But we'll see. We have Infinite, Iron Man, Iron Lead, Modoc. Uh. Hey, you want to pull Modoc? That'd be hilarious. Thank you. <laughs> I am Iron Man. I lose my entire hand now, <laughs> but it's okay. If I ever draw Hella, that's going to be amazing. Turn three. Ooh, Crystal will be very big help for me. So I have to actually give a little bit more power into Mojo World because Rickety Bridge is kind of a... I need to magic it away, to be honest. Z is this Cerebro Zero? This is an insanely amazing base deck. I love to see it. We drew Hella. That's actually amazing for us. Um, I'm going to have to draw Crystal. I'm going to play Crystal mid and hope that he doesn't play anything else. If he plays Mystique in the middle, he's he might just actually have this game here. He might actually have uh, won the game. Did I draw magic in my beginning hand? I did. Oh god, this is not good. This is, uh... This might be over. This is, uh... We might be losing to Cerebro Zero. But you know what? This is an amazing, hilarious deck. So I will gladly lose to Cerebro Zero. He has to play Mystique in the middle. Um... Or someone else in the middle. To be another zero drop if he ha wants to keep drawing. Because I am going to stop it. Okay. That's fine with me. What is he going to play over in Rickety Bridge? That's kind of dangerous. Don't you? He knows I'm going to destroy it. What? What? Okay. Mm, well, this is potentially very, very dangerous and bad. Because uh, now I don't know if I can win Mojo World, to be honest. <gasps> no! He saved the day, I think. <laughs> Inadvertently, he might have just saved the day. Now goes to magic. What is this guy cooking? I'm kind of a fan, to be honest. I don't want to snap just because I want to see where this is going. So, if I play Tribunal, that is basically me signifying I lose here. Let me see. What cards do I have left in my deck? I have Invisible Woman and Magic left. So I think I go Tribunal here, where he's least likely to die. Yeah. Is he going to get rid of it? That would be hilarious if he does. A Mr. Ne oh, it's a Mr. Negative deck. <laughs> he drew terribly for a Mr. Negative deck. Uh, Alright, we just need to draw better. <laughs> Please, nothing on Rickety, nothing on Rickety, nothing on Rickety. Please. Yes. No. No. <laughs> no, what are you doing? <laughs> That's bad. We lose on this one. It's ASG it's over. Yeah, there it goes. There goes all our power. They literally... Should never have fought on Ricky, but you know what? For two, I we almost still won that. By the way, if any of the other big ones had landed with Hella, we would have won. Okay, that was hilarious. That turned from Cerebro Zero to it turned out to just be a terrible Mister Negative deck. I should have ran away with it, but to be honest, I decided to gamble and be like, "Hey, they surely can't be that bad." Literally, anyone needed to go on the other side. So sad. So sad, but that was a just terrible location. We would have won if it wasn't for that location. The raft. Uh, that's bad for us, but it's okay. If we can magic it, that'd be probably best. 
Nebula, Nebula. Mm. Morb. Okay. Nebula doesn't really tell us what they're playing. Ham, Ham the Infinite. <laughs> Thank you. I'd much rather them hand the Infinite than uh, Ham Ham the Tribunal. Okay, let's see what we got here. Ooh, Crystal. I'll gladly play Crystal. Hopefully I can draw into Magic or Invisible Woman. Why, why is your deck, my guy? Iron Lad. Giganto. I mean... I just play my, my pig for free on this one. <sighs> Let me see, we have four cards upcoming. You know what, I think it might be time to go into the Iron Man play, to be honest. Hope that he doesn't have Shane. Wakanda forever. Ooh, that's kind of bad, actually. Do we YOLO it? I have a 1 in 3 chance of drawing victory, basically. So you know what? Let's go for it. Because I don't think I can stop uh, Zola, unless I have everything I need. So let's see. Come on, hello off the top. Hello off the top. Hello off the top. Let's see what he does. <laughs> but that is another loss. It was a one in three chance, man. One in three. Got greedy. I should have tried for magic, but actually no, it would have been bad. This was another another case where this is the one of the very few decks that would actually really be very much helped by. Um, Howard the Duck, I would probably replace Iron Lad with... No, actually, he works better with him. Mm, who would I replace from here? I don't know. But you definitely could run him. Maybe Jubilee. But Jubilee has also been very helpful when you can get magic out. I've just been having some really, really, really bad bad luck. It's funny because I was winning nonstop with this deck up until this point. That's very bad for us. So this is very likely that I just leave. This is also another deck that really kind of benefits from... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, I'm retreating. But adding a rock to the deck kind of messes up. So you know what? If you want the one cube so badly, you can take the one cube. Next. I can gladly give... I got seven until I derank again. All that matters is that you win the big game at the end of the day. So let's see if we can go into the next one. But I already don't want to deal with, like... Um, it's stones in my deck. No, thank you. Oh, come on. <laughs> All right. Come on. Okay, that that's fine. I, I don't mind him hitting Iron Lead. Uh, let's go here. That's fine with me. Too. Uh... Oh, thank god, thank god. No, that's bad, actually. I forgot the Invisible Woman is currently mid. So, if I had known that, I would have maybe not put Invisible Woman mid. Ooh. Let's see, is he gonna try and do something funky here? Let's find out. I think my best bet is trying to... Yeah, I'm kind of screwed. I really wish I had known about the goose thing. I was playing thinking that we were still going to be playing until turn six, but... Uh, say la vie. It's a Cerebro 2 deck? That's kind of crazy. Anyway, here you go. Okay, turn five. We have Tribunal. I think I'll go... Yeah, I think I'll go Jubilee here. Come on, Modok! Ooh! Infinite! Infinite! I will take Infinite. Okay. We'll go heal. Go heal. This 
Since this is Cerebro 2, very unlikely that they are running Shang. Yeah, that's another reason why I said Iron Lad probably not needed. If Iron Lad had copied Infinite, it'd be so sad. So unbelievably sad. But because Jubilee pulled Infinite, we actually have a chance to win with the Tribunal play. Because Cerebro 2's maximum power is what? 1, 2, 3. So they get up to 5. 5 in each lane. That's 20. Uh, to be honest, beating 20 each lane is kind of rough. Yeah. No, we'll try. I don't think we can, actually, but it's fine. Ah, uh, that actually hurts us. I am Iron Man. Okay, so let's see. Actually, does Modoc just win us? So let's see, two of these become four. Let me bust out the old calculator. So assuming Cerebro and Mystique, these two become two, four, six, six times four, that is twenty-four. Uh we currently got let me see. Forty plus six plus eight divided by three. Eighteen power each. Hmm. Mm, I think Tribunal's our best bet. And then if they Cerebro, I mean, we'll just be sad. I have to hope that they don't have another. But they chances are have Cerebro Mystique. I'm not sure if it's actually going to be enough, but we'll see. Also, I think my mouth was off. 24? No, it ends up being 24. Damn. We were off by three. It's a shame. Yep. I had to give it to him. Real close. If we had been able to put on a little bit more power on the board a little bit early. Or if we had drawn Morbius just a little bit sooner, maybe. Not Morbius, uh, Modoc. Let me pick this up. But it's alright. That was a close game. Next one, real quick. This is also pretty nice for this ladder, because in this ladder, it doesn't really matter how much wins or losses you have, because as long as you're smart about your snaps, you, in theory, never have to really care about much. Okay, turn two. I might, if I can get a playable two drop, I'm not going to get a playable two drop, am I? I think I'm going to have to magic ant maze, if he, don't, if he doesn't play into it. Really? Nebula? Okay. Please don't play into Ant Maze. Please don't play into Ant Maze. Okay. That's why neither one of us gets the Ant Maze buff. Hmm, this is actually not looking super great for us. I wonder if I should change into the. Whoa, okay. <laughs> uh. I mean, we have the combo. So, we're just gonna have to go for it. Of course. Uh, I think the right answer here is to just leave. But... Ooh. Do I go infinite here? And attempt to win all three lands. We're gonna go for it. Okay. There's no way in hell we win middle, but there is a chance. Eh, actually, no. With Hulk, we there's a good chance we lose. Didn't play Hulk, though. Played. Okay, we lose. This wasn't enough, unfortunately. 
Yeah, that uh, Doc Ock really screwed us over. <laughs> Those unbelievable levels of luck. But it's fine, he didn't snap. But I, I would have laughed if he had snapped. So another game. I have to get a single one with this one. I swear to God, I made it to 90s with this deck. But a lot of this deck is also this. It's like a lot of losing, but you lose. You leave when it looks like worse for you, and then you just win the big cube games. Because most people aren't expecting it. Do I have a single one cost in this deck? No. This would also be why Howard the Duck would be pretty nice in this deck, at least in my version of it. Uh, Nebula again. That's pretty bad for us, but we have magic. So if this last lane is really bad for us, this might be a bot. Are you a bot, my guy? I have to do this now? Yeah. Okay, turn four. Um, looking at the top cards of our deck, I think it's best to use Crystal here. And that also will suppress the Nebula a little bit. Oh, okay. Tribunal, not bad. Hella. We have to try and Jubilee out Invisible Woman. If that doesn't work out, then we have to iron... Uh, we might have to do the Tribunal... Um, the Tribunal play next. So one in three shot right now, but if we don't get Invisible Woman, we get Giganta and we get Infinite. That's pretty bad for us. That's alright. <laughs> that may definitely makes it a little bit better for us. Why did you show up now? Okay, so let's see. How we want to do this. We can save that for the final turn. If we go here, we're pretty prone to... I think this is our best bet. I think he tries to Xavier middle. And then we just Modok and Morbius and pray for the best. Xavier middle. Galactic. What the? Infinite saved us? <laughs> the tribunal saved us. Let's go. Love him. He left already, but that was too funny. That's hilarious. All right, next game. I mean, in that one game, it's hilarious enough for me to care and count it. But that would have been hilarious if the Galactus. Was, I was like, okay, what's my follow-up to play to Galactus? And the answer was, I don't think I have a single follow-up play to Galactus. <laughs> okay, let's see how our hand is looking here. Oh, my skip's really bad. But Modok, we have the potential for some real funny actions here. I'm gonna wait till. Um, Oh yeah, this is potential to be hilarious. Aw, oh, Morbius. I mean, I should just magic this because my hand is looking pretty nice. And he did just lower my deck by one. So I think I'll do it. Cloning Vats. Okay, so he's gonna have a really big uh, Deadpool by the end of this. Could have potentially been a big mistake for me. We'll see. Uh, I think I will Invisible Woman middle. I don't know why he keeps trying to. He's really building up that Deadpool, that's for sure. It's gonna be actually very tough to beat an entire cloning bat army of Deadpools. We might be able to Jubilee our entire deck out, actually, funny enough. Eight. Okay. This is gonna be uh, next to impossible to stop, I would say now. But we got a decent enough hand, let me see. We're missing Iron Lad and Infidot. So what I'm chances are gonna do is gonna I'm gonna have to Jubilee. Actually. 
He has two of these. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four, five, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then potential seven with Jubilee. Let's go! That's really big. No denying it. But can my double Iron Man strategy work here? Let's find out. Modok. I just need both Iron Mans. <gasps> no, that potentially fucked me. Come on, please. Land. Land on the other. Land on the other. I am Iron Man. <gasps> the worst place it could have possibly landed. Oh, I just needed Infinite to land on Iron Man. <laughs> oh no, Jubilee completely screwed me over. Uh, it's not complete, but it's fine. I need to get a, just a single more win and then I'll be good to go. I think I'll be good to hear. Again, I think this deck's really fun, and I like the kind of variance and the randomness of it, and sometimes the deck just can win you out of nowhere. It can win out of nowhere. Like I saw there, it felt like I could have... Oh. I could have easily lost. This is going to be a big help for me. Come on, Howard. They really did just... Oh, and he's playing Sunspot. That's perfect for me. Alright, let's see what's next. Next for me is Iron Man. After Iron Man is going to be Jubilee. Okay. I'm much more safe now to Jubilee if I have Modok and Hela in hand. Okay, that's fine. I didn't eat her anyway. So who's next for me? Morbin. Okay, Invisible Woman. I think I can go one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I can wait a turn. The other thing I have to be careful of is if he's playing... That's very annoying. But if I play this middle, that should be enough to stop... Um... Ooh, Gigento next. Uh, yeah, okay. Negative deck, huh? Can I beat a negative deck with the cards that I have on me? Yes. I feel like I should snap here. Opponent you know what? Let's do it, brother. He has an insane hand. He could easily win this. What stops me here? <laughs> he somehow has Cosmo. In which case, I lose. <sighs> Soul is insane. But not that insane. He loses. GG. GG. And just like that, all the losses I suffered at the beginning, it doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> Man, I really want Howard the Duck now. Now that I've actually had the deck with Howard the Duck, I can now confirm it's much better with Howard the Duck in it. I wonder what effect he'll take. Crystal. Yep. Yep. Love to see it. Love to see it. And just like that, not every single loss from the beginning of the video was recovered, but... You yeah, know, no, that's basically it. I'm back to where I started. <laughs> All right, everyone, that's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Ooh, one of these. I'll try and make more Marvel Snap stuff. Um, I'm going to keep on climbing to Infinite. Maybe when I actually make it to Infinite, I'll be able to show off a little bit more decks because that's actually the kind of funny thing is that once you reach Infinite, that's when you can start screwing around because it doesn't matter anymore. I could also do some Conquest stuff, but Conquest takes a really long time. But I also really want anime Wolverine, so... Yeah, that's it. That's Tribunal Sweep, everyone. Uh, like you just saw, I was able to pretty easily beat Mr. Negative just because the the power differences were just too big. I'm honestly... Like, uh, he must have drawn Iron Man, actually. If he had had Iron Man, it would have been actually a very different story. But he didn't have Iron, Iron Man. He instead, he had three very good zero drops. That's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out!